Hey everybody, it's Heather. I want to take you through a really quick and informal walkthrough of the content editor changes that are happening. Now we're still going to be able to access and add all the stuff we've been used to um, in our content editor. And again, that includes spaces like in the discussion boards, um, as we're creating content and assignments, anywhere where we see this WYSIWYG um, content editor, it will look and feel a little bit different but we'll still have access to all of our stuff. So let's take a look. So this is the content editor as we know and see it right now. We can extend that um, by opening up on the little three dot that's over in the right hand corner there and that can open up our tables and functions and stuff like that. We have our handy dandy insert stuff and our insert images and our course link. Um, and then at the bottom of our content editor too, we have the ability to view um, the code if we want to. We can do our um, accessibility check and also our spell check down at the bottom. So let's just flip over and take a look at what that new content editor is going to look like because we still have access to all this stuff, but it's placed in different spaces. So let's go look. So here I actually have open um, my content editor space, you can see already off the bat, it looks a little bit different. Um, you can see that I still have that three dot there that I can open and close those additional permissions. So in the old content editor, we had some of our insert stuff all the way in the left hand corner. Now this is simulating more of a um, word processing look and feel, almost like a, a word or other word processing, where we have all of our formatting, our text formatting information on the far left-hand side. And then as we move down, we get you know access to more kind of fun stuff to add. So here we have the justification, we have our bullet points, and this is one of the biggest changes that we're going to have to get used to. So remember the insert stuff button that we had over here that gave us access to add video notes or YouTube or Kaltura. So on the new editor, our insert stuff looks like this little button that has a bunch of play stuff, um, probably because that's where we go to insert our multimedia. So it's going to have the same functionality. It's going to be a little bit slow because I'm doing a screen capture here. So it opens up and I can still insert my YouTube or Kaltura or links or video notes. Um, I can still access the course link information here. So I can link to any of the rich content like I could before. I can add the image still, that icon looks the same. And then I have access to the functions and tables um, and finally, over here, I have some additional formatting features, like being able to insert dividers or emojis or symbols. Um, I can choose my text and my text size over here. Um, and another one of the bigger changes is instead of having our accessibility and checker options on the bottom, we now have those on that bottom ribbon that we open up with the three dots on the top right here. So we have the spell check here and we have the word count and preview. And there we have the insert HTML if you're utilizing that. So the last thing that's gonna be really a change is that we have um, kind of the save and close is a, a little bit smaller, just the way that it's formatted. And we see that really kind of large and in charge here on the bottom here. So those are the major changes. And I just wanted to show you, again, we aren't losing access to anything. It's just going to be a little bit of a look and feel. Um, I wanted to give everybody a preview of that before you just come back for fall and see that it looks different and it looks like this. If you have any questions, go ahead and give Seedle a call. Otherwise, happy building.